Hey, welcome to Orals. Just wanted to go through some of the stuff we've got coming up on the auction on the 28th. There's a mahogany uh, uh, table and uh, six chairs with three leaves. Uh, you can bid on that on the 28th. And this is a really old, probably about 100 years old now, china cabinet with some Waterford crystal in it. Beautiful patio set. Everything is sold as is, where is. Buyer needs to be the judge. You can see nothing is perfect on this patio set, but it's still a great looking patio set and it's quality. Couple of old chairs, Hickok style chair. Part of the patio set, you've got a uh, stone top table and you've got uh, six chairs. We've got racks to sell, we've got camping equipment to sell. We've got a very nice old brake front here. If you don't know what a brake front is, it looks like a drawer that actually breaks down into a desk. It's what we call an old brake front because the front breaks down. You got an old mail desk here, or a banker's desk if you want to call it that. You got outside storage, utility lights to sell. You've got all sorts of things that are useful around the house that you have to pay a fortune for retail that hopefully you won't have to pay a fortune for at auction and you can get a good deal on it. More patio furniture, quality patio furniture at that. You've got some beautiful mahogany quality furniture. This is all coming on the 28th. More patio furniture, it's a swing. Everybody wants a swing in their front porch or their back porch. Something to kind of snuggle with your loved one with. You got TVs and microwaves. And hey look, we've got Bigfoot. He doesn't look so big next to me, does he? You've got some modern chairs here. Five of them it looks like. Portable air conditioning, barbecue. Modern table and four. Could be Herman Miller. Buyer be the judge on what that is. I haven't looked myself yet. Snap on stool. Okay, so this is where we keep some of the fun stuff. You've got jewelry, you've got cartoon lithographs or cells, you've got comic books, you've got stamps, you've got collectibles, you've got really very, very interesting photo albums with very old images of the Zeppelin. You've got pin plaque, you've got an old Coca-Cola thermometer. That's the word I'm looking for, thermometer. You've got graded coins. You've got MS66 uh, coin, you've got MS65 coin. You've got coins that are graded 69. You've got a very rare 2014 baseball 50 cent piece. You've got signed memorabilia. You've got rings. You've got all sorts of things. You've got two very interesting menorahs here. Those are being sold together. You've got silver necklaces, silver rings, silver bracelets. You've got old keys. There's all sorts of stuff that you have. Now, one of the most amazing things if you're a car guy is you've got the dealership training material for a 1942 and 1938 Plymouth. You've got the text, you've got two records where they're actually training you how to sell these cars. So if you've got any of those cars, you want this. You've got the Toby mugs. I think those are back for a second time around when people don't pay their bill or they don't pick up after they did pay their bill. We can't hold on to it, it's gotta be sold. You've got books, you've got artwork, you've got Duck Dynasty dolls, you've got collectible monopolies, you've got photographs and drawings and cartoons, you've got model cars, you've got uh, leather straps. We have military memorabilia, German Iron Cross out of Sterling, and a couple other medals in there as well from World War II. We or one other medal from World War World II. War. Thank you for the correction. World War, World War I, even better. This may look like a silver certificate to you, 
But in reality, what it is, is it's a piece of history. It's not a history that we like, but it's a history that's true. And it's propaganda from the Germans written in French against Jewish people. Okay. Now some of the late comers to the auction that's going to end on the 28th. You've got a Seiko Perpetual Calendar Watch. I believe it to be new old stock or new in the box. Box is actually in fairly good condition. Then we've got a Tag Heuer. Uh, buyer needs to be the judge of the authenticity of this. I think it's real based on where it came from. We've got the original box. We've got the watch. You'll see the pictures online when you go to oralsauction.highbid.com and check out our catalog there. You've got a signed Todd McFarland sports figurine of Shaquille O'Neal and Elton Brand. You've got a Casey Kane signed die-cast car in the original box. Signed in two places, on the car itself, on the windshield, and on the uh, picture plaque that, or the picture card that came with it. These are silver coins from 1862 to the 1950s. These are antique coins, foreign coins, from 1854 onto the 1920s. Then you've got more modern coins here, a lot of face value actually in there if you want to take it to the right bank. And then you've got old uh, tax and travel tokens in this one. Hey, thank you for staying this long through the video. Uh, if you want to contact us with any questions that you might have, you can call us at 818-951-SOLD, which is 7653. Again, 818-951-SOLD, 7653. Or you can email us at oralsauction at gmail.com. That's O-R-R-I-L-L-S auction at gmail.com. All lowercase, all squished together. Again, thank you for coming.